Hello, hello, hello to all my uniques out there. This is your girl, Akudo. Welcome to your Unique Monday. I'm here to motivate you this week with 1 Peter chapter 3 from verse 10 to 12a. 1 Peter chapter 3 from verse 10 to 12a I read. If you want to enjoy life and see many happy days, keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right, and his ears are open to their prayers. My sister, my brother, do you want to enjoy life? This life you're living, do you want to enjoy it? Do you want to be happy with it? He says, do you want to enjoy life? Do you want to see many happy days? You want, you don't want to live. You want to live and really live, not just existing. Some of us are existing. We don't need to exist in this world. We need to live and live life to the fullest. The Bible says, if you want to enjoy life, if you want to have a happy life while you are here on earth, before you leave for heaven, my sister, my brother, you must tame and watch your tongue. The tongue is the smallest part of our body, but the tongue is the most dangerous part of our body. The tongue will bless and the tongue will curse. There is power in your tongue. What do you confess with your tongue? What do you claim with your tongue? What do you receive with what you're saying? Some of us believe we can never do good. Some of us believe, oh, I always have bad luck. Nothing works for me. Some of, from, some of us believe, oh my, it's our inheritance. It always happens to people in our family. Some of us believe, oh, because it happened to my dad. So it, that's why it's happening to me too. My sister, my brother, I'm here to tell you, you are an individual. Your life, it's your life. Because it happened to your father doesn't mean it will happen to you. Because it happened to your mother does not mean it must happen to you. Tame your tongue. What do you confess? I am a chosen generation. I am a royal priesthood. I am a peculiar person. I am a holy nation called out of darkness into God's marvelous light. I am the apple of God's eyes. Whatsoever that consigns me, consign him. I am a chosen of the Lord. I am an heir to the throne of God. I am a child of God. I am a princess in my father's compound. I am a queen. I am a king. I am a prince in the kingdom of God. My sister, my brother, start confessing who you are. Start using your tongue to attract that which you love. You can never attract what you don't confess. If you, cons if you confess negatively, you will always attract negativity into your life. When you confess positively, you will attract positivity into your life. And the Bible continued, it said, keep your lips from telling lies. Some of us have PhDs doctorate degrees, masters, bachelorate in telling lies. Our good morning is good night. Our good night is good morning. When they say come, you go. When they say it's dark outside, you run because it's light outside. Nothing that comes out of your mouth is the truth. And not only do you know this, but everybody around you know that you lie so much. The Bible said, keep your lips from telling lies. Don't lie to me now only for me to find out the truth tomorrow. Some of us think it's okay. We have categorized lies into several categories. We have the white lies. We have the black lies. We have the, we have the mini lies. We have the lies of omission. We have put lies into several categories. But my sister, I'm here to tell you, 
According to the Bible, a lie is a lie. Whether it's a lie by omission, a white lie, a small lie, a, a life-saving lie, a lie is a lie. And the Bible says, keep your lips from telling lies. And he continued, he said, search for peace. The peace of God that passes all understanding. My sister, that is the greatest gift you can give to yourself. The peace of mind, the peace of God that passes everything. The Bible says, search for peace and maintain it. Walk to maintain it. You don't just get the peace and then you relax. Oh, now I have peace, let me relax. My sister, my brother, the peace will disappear. You have to work on it. It's a gradual process. You work on your peace. You work on it by attracting those things that are positive in your life. You work on it by putting your focus on Jesus. You work on it by reading the Bible so that the Bible will order your steps. You work on it by being in the midst and fellowship of brethren. You work on it by going to your church. You work on it by surrounding yourself with everything that has to do with your faith. That's how you work on it. You don't say you don't want to lie, but you're always in the midst of people that are lying. My sister, you end up lying. The Bible says, do you want to have peace? Do you want to live a happy life? These two things you will do. You tame your tongue and keep your lips from telling lies. What are you confessing, my sister? Are you confessing that business is yours? Are you confessing that job, that promotion you're looking for? It belongs to you because your father is the king of kings. And he said that promotion comes from no one except him. Are you sick? Are you confessing this sickness is going to kill me? I am going to die of this sickness. Or are you saying no? Jesus Christ came and died on the cross of Calvary and said by his stripes I am healed. I'm claiming my healing because the Bible says that healing is thy children's breath. Are you confessing positively into your life? And then he continued. He said the eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. And his, and his ears are open to their prayers. All those things you've been asking God, my sister, every morning, every night, during your devotion, standing by your nightstand, sitting on your bed, kneeling beside your bed, talking in your car, in your church, fellowship, Bible study, everything you're doing, you are asking, you're seeking, and you're knocking. I'm here to tell you, my sister, God's ears are towards you. He hears everything you're saying. He's going to give you the desires of your heart. Everything you want from God, he'll give it to you. But the Bible says, stay away from doing evil. Love others. Love your neighbor. Love yourself. Remember who you are and whose you are. Keep your lips from lying and watch your tongue. Guys, let us watch how we speak into our life this week. Let us watch how we speak into our marriages this week. Let us watch how we speak into our children this week. Some of us get so angry and we tell our children how they are stupid, how they won't amount to anything. We call our husbands good for nothing. We call them dumb. We call them stupid. And then the men are calling their wives useless. And you're confessing all these things. My brother, my sister, you're sending negativity into the atmosphere. You are sending negativity into your marriage, into your children, into your relationship. And guess what? What you give is what you take. When you give out negativity, you attract negativity. So let us be careful of what we confess this week. As you step out into this week, as you step out into your job, as you step out into that relationship, as you step out into whatever plans you have made for this week, I am here to encourage, motivate, and inspire you to confess positively into your life. I want you to use your tongue and promote and edify and support yourself. Use your tongue to inspire yourself. You are God's best. My sister, God don't make junks. You are God's best. 
my brother, God does not make junk. You are God's best. And it's high time you begin to believe it. It's high time you begin to walk in your calling. It's high time you begin to know who you are and whose you are. It's high time you begin to confess that God is going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. It's high time you begin to confess that the Bible says that he will supply all your needs. He didn't say any of your needs. He didn't say some of your needs. He didn't say a little of your needs. He didn't say a little bigger of your needs. He said all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. That is my blessing. That is what I'm claiming for this week. Sister, are you claiming the same thing for this week? My brother, are you claiming that this week? Are you claiming that God is going to supply all our needs this week according to his riches in glory? If you claim it, I claim it. And because you claim it, the Bible says, Whatsoever two or three shall agree here on earth has been established in heaven. Because you agree and I agree, it has been established in heaven. Go out there and have a wonderful rest of the week. Remember, you are beautifully and wonderfully made by God. That is why you are unique. Remember to write us at uniqueakudo at gmail.com. Remember to give us a thumbs up. Remember to share this video. Encourage somebody. And remember to subscribe to the channel. Take care of yourself and each other. Goodbye.